Hello and welcome to the next video in the CPP COVID support series. My name is Jesus Avalos and I'm a learning and development consultant here at Cal Poly Pomona and I'm excited to have you join me for this session. Today we're going to be talking about leveraging your library. So whether you want to read an ebook or entertain and maybe enlighten your kids or listen to music or learn how to play the guitar, or watch a TV show, or research your family genealogy, your local library has you covered. So let's go ahead and start exploring all the resources available to you. Now, in terms of how to find these resources, you have a couple of options. Most of you will have availability to go to either your county library or your municipal or city library. So all you have to do is, in this case, I'm doing a Google search, and just type in the name of your library here i just typed in los angeles city library and then either e-media or e-resources anything along those lines will pull up and here we have the results so this is the los angeles public library or the los angeles city library site now you might be saying jesus i don't live in the city of los angeles well great news you don't have to live in the city of Los Angeles to get a Los Angeles Public Library card. You just have to be a resident of the state of California and have either a driver's license or an ID and you can get that free library card. So here we are on the eMedia site and we have different options for you. If you want ebooks or audiobooks, you have RB Digital, Overdrive, Hoopla. If you want movies, you got Hoopla or Canopy or Digitalia. If you want music or podcasts, you have FreeGal and Allowed and Hoopla. And you'll notice that a service like Hoopla offers multiple avenues for you to enjoy. You have newspapers and magazines, online learning, language learning available to you. So these are all really great. Now, you might be saying, well, I don't happen to have a library card. I do live in California, but I don't have a library card. Well, very easy. Most of the sites will have a link somewhere on the site that says get a library card and all of the libraries are offering online application for their library card. So it's really easy to apply. So that is LA Public Library, but you've got the LA County Library. In this case, I typed in lacountylibrary.org slash coronavirus or just type in coronavirus and the LA County Library, which is the largest library system in the area, has lots of great things, mindfulness tips and activities to do at home and FAQs and updates. What we're looking for is library access from home. And you get a disclaimer here. And then you have, just like you saw with the LA City Library, all of these different resources available to you. Here we have the San Bernardino County Library, which has resources. We have the Riverside County Library. And for these, sites here get a library card over here if you scroll all the way up to the top get a library card for the riverside county library you just have to go to my account and then you can get yourself an e-card and then finally we have the orange county library system on here on the right hand side you have all of the links and they're all pretty similar a lot of the libraries will share resources and then you can sign up for a library card here so it's really easy to use and you can't break anything. So I would encourage you to explore, but they are great resources to avail yourselves of. And I hope that you do. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this conversation. I did want to share my contact information with you. If you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me. You've got my email address and my phone number there. Of course, you can also contact the libraries directly because all of them have staff members that are very helpful and looking forward to assisting you in any way that they can. So with that being said, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for your service to the CPP community. Thank you for your service to our students and thank you for continuing to invest in your growth. We look forward to seeing you either face to face or virtually in a future training session. Until then, take care of yourself and be well. Goodbye.